Good afternoon, Mapikonians. We come together again to offer praise to our Lord and especially in the psalm for today, Psalm 50, that says very clearly in verse 23, He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. Praise as a sacrifice, even if we don't want to praise Him, even if we don't feel that we have anything in us to praise Him for, we need to praise Him as a sacrifice, no matter how we feel. And to Him, to each of us that goes the right way, the Lord promises to show the salvation of God. This is in the Psalm for today, Psalm 50, verse 23. And this is what we all need to put into our hearts, that if we go the right way, if we praise Him, no matter how we feel like it, we should always praise Him for the gift of life, for the gift of being who we are, and for the gift of His presence in everything we do, even if we don't feel it. But we need to say it, this, offer our praise, and sooner or later, happily, sooner, that it will come into our hearts and God will be with us all the time as he has promised. God bless us all. Peace and blessings to all. It's time for more questions and answers. Keep sending your questions because I think our prayer meetings and Bible studies are more interesting when the topics come from you yourselves. Question from Cagayan de Oro. Nga nung gikonsider na perfect prayer ang Our Father, karong daghan namang mas guapang prayer. In Filipino, bakit sinasabing perfect prayer ang Our Father kung meron namang ibang mas magagandang prayer? In English, why is the Our Father considered the perfect prayer when there are other more beautiful prayers? Yes, there are many beautiful prayers, and the most beautiful prayer in the eyes of God is the prayer from the heart. Yung tauspuso, mapagkumbaba, at totoong humahangad at umaasa sa Diyos. Any heartfelt prayer, with words or no words, memorized or spontaneous, sung or recited, verbal or mental, basta sincere and from the heart, surely pleases God. However, the Our Father is a class on its own. The Our Father or the Lord's Prayer is the perfect prayer. This insight may be traced to St. Thomas Aquinas who said, The Lord's Prayer is the most perfect of prayers. In it, we ask not only for all the things we can rightly desire, but also in the sequence that they should be desired. This prayer not only teaches us to ask for things, but also in what order we should desire them. I would like to refer you to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, which devotes an entire 28-page section to the Lord's Prayer, particularly in Part 4 about Christian Prayer, Section 2, Articles 1 to 4. I cannot beat the breadth and depth of the explanation there. So please read that to savor the greatness and beauty of the Lord's Prayer. For now, I will use my own words to quickly explain the Lord's Prayer. Let us read Matthew 6, 9 to 13. This is how you are to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not subject us to the final test, but deliver us from the evil one. First, our Father in heaven. Ama namin sumasa langit ka. Amahan namo nga naa sa langit. Notice the use of our not my father. 
This is a reminder that we are a family and community. There is no Lone Ranger Christian, no monopoly of God. It cannot be a me, my, mine prayer. We cannot pray while having a self-centered life where everything orbits around me. So the word our reminds us that there is a family and community bigger than me. Next, the word father that is loaded with meaning. We are children, so we don't tell the father what to do. We are children, so we are loved no matter what with the unconditional love of a father. We are children, therefore, we look like him. We are made in God's image. We are special, beautiful, and precious. We are children, and because we are children, the Father will provide for us. So calling God our Father is a loaded, heavyweight term, which we should pray more often. Next, the words in heaven. This reminds us what it's all about. Heaven is a real place. It is our ultimate home, a real home with our Father. Life on earth is not forever, but heaven with the Father is forever. So we must never forget our real home. Next, hallowed be your name or holy be your name. Sambahin ang ngalan mo, simbahon unta ang ngalan mo. It's not holy is your name. It's holy be your name. The word be is a verb, an action word. It is not requesting any addition to the holiness of his name, but asking for the grace to extend that holiness through me. In other words, may your name be made holy in me, my mind, my will, my life, my actions. And because of our holy lives, May the name of the Lord be revered in the world around us. Next, your kingdom come. Mapasa amin ang kaharian mo. Maghari ka unta kanamo. Maganda ang sabi ni San Agustin tungkol dito. Of course it will come. Of course dadating ang kaharian ng Diyos whether you like it or not. The question is, Will the kingdom come to you voluntarily or by force? On Judgment Day, God's kingdom will surely reign supreme and everyone will come on bended knees. Ang tanong ay, maniniklohod ba tayo ngayon kusang loob o sapilitang papaluhurin tayo ng mga anghel? Siyempre, the best kung ngayon din, Susurrender na tayo sa Diyos voluntarily dahil mahal natin si Lord. Your kingdom come is either a safe or dangerous prayer. It depends on which side of the kingdom you're in. Salvation in the kingdom will come to those who are in the kingdom who are humble now. But praying your kingdom come when you are living a wicked lifestyle is another thing. Note, that there is only one place where God's kingdom cannot be established unilaterally. That's in the heart and will of human beings and angels. God's kingdom exists everywhere and forever, and all creation is subject to Him. But, being the perfect gentleman, God will not force His kingdom on us. He knocks. And then he waits for a response. Your kingdom come is the perfect response. Next, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Ug, tumanon ang imong pagbuot dinhi sa yuta, ingon nga gituman kini dito sa langit. God's will is the best thing that can happen to any person. Prayer is not convincing God to answer our selfish requests. My will. Prayer is more about our conforming to God's will. Praying your will be done means surrendering yourself to the plan and wishes of God. 
so that God's will is indeed accomplished in our lives. Next, give us today our daily bread. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw. Ihatag ka namo ang kalanon nga among gikinahanglan karong adlawa. This refers to our basic needs like food, shelter, and clothing. Note that the prayer is for today, not tomorrow or next month. St. Chrysostom says, What is daily bread? It is just enough for one day. Why? So that our reliance and dependence on God is daily. The key here is to live a life of complete dependence on God day by day. That dependence shows a humble and trusting heart. Next, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. At patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para ng pagpapatawad namin sa mga nagkakasala sa amin. Ug pasailua kami sa aming mga sala, ingon nga gipasailo namo ang nakasala ka namo. Ask God daily for forgiveness and also for the grace to forgive. Mercy is what we need and mercy is what God wants us to give to those around us. Next, do not subject us to the final test. At huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso. Ayaw kami itugyan sa malisod nga pagsulay. This points to the severe trial before the end of the age or tribulation. Lastly, deliver us from the evil one. At iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Luwasa hinoon kami sa dautan. This is the great all-encompassing prayer. With this prayer, deliver us from the evil one. Nothing remains for which we could ask further. I want you to use your imagination now. Imagine a life without evil. Imagine no evil, no sickness, no calamity. No poverty, no graft and corruption, no crimes, no pandemics, no pains, no suffering, no environmental destruction, no money problems, no injustice, no harm, no killings, no danger. Wow, that would be the best life ever. I call deliver us from the evil one the blank check of all prayers because we have everything when you take away the evil one from the picture. So it's a very important prayer. Deliver us from all evil or deliver us from the evil one. Sobrang sarap at sobrang ginhawa ng buhay kung walang kontrabida. Ayan, sana naliwanagan tayo sa explanation ko ng ama namin. Pero katiting lang yan sa lalim at lawak niya. I hope you study the Lord's Prayer even more. Reflect on it and pray it even more. Some saints pray it hundreds of times a day because it truly is the perfect prayer. May the Lord our Father answer our prayers and keep teaching us day by day how to pray and also help us to be an answer to the prayers of those around us. Amen. Horatio Imperata For protection against the COVID-19 virus Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion 
grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Sun Rock, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Let us pray. Join me in praying the Our Father. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation and deliver us from all evil. Amen. Lord, we pray that you bless us so that we may know how to pray even more each day. Teach us to be prayer warriors. Teach us to be quick to pray. Teach us to be one with you, with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We lift up to you right now those who are sick, that you may heal them. We pray that you provide for all those who are in need. And we pray that you open heaven to respond to the prayer requests of your people. We ask and pray all of these in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. My Almighty's plan to exalt Christ operates now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.